Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this infinite symbol using Affinity Designer 1.8.3. And before we start, like always, we need to create a new document. For that, we go to File, New. I got my template with an 1920 by 1080 pixels with background, but you can use any preset that you like. I'm going to leave everything as it is and I'm going to click create and now we have our new document. Now before we continue, make sure that you have selected the following. Let's go to view and that we have show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbar. Fantastic. With that out of the way, we can start. Okay, so this one is for a beginner's level, so it's not that complicated, but it's nice to to do some practice if you want. So let's get started. We are going to start with a pie. So I'm going to hold command and shift to create a proportional shape, and I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to make it roughly that size. It's fine there, double click, and I'm going to edit, make sure that you have that angle selected, and I'm going to move it until you get the uh, 315 degrees. So now I'm going to move this one until I get 45 degrees. With that one like that, I'm going to get rid of the fill, and I'm going to put one pixel stroke. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it to curve. Now, then I'm going to use my node tool. I'm going to select that node there in the middle and come in here to the action and I'm going to break apart. I'm going to select one, as you can see there, and I'm going just to delete it. Perfect. Now I'm going to select my square tool and I'm coming here and I'm going to click and drag like that. So now we have it from there to the middle. And what I'm going to do, as you can see, that one fits uh, or snap on the corner of the square and this one as well. So then if when we align, we'll see that the diagonals are perfectly aligned. So I'm going to select my curve, Command J to duplicate. Now I'm coming here to the top and I'm going to flip it horizontally. I'm going to hit and hold Shift, click and drag until snap on the other side. Okay, that one there. Sorry, that one there to delete and let's delete the square. Now I'm coming to, I'm going to select my pen tool. I'm going to click and click. So now we have a line. I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to do the same in this direction. Now I'm going to select that line, shift and select the curve, click and drag to select over that top, um, top right corner. And I'm coming here to the top and I'm going to click join curve. Now I'm going to click and select and do the same for all the other ones, click and drag, click and drag. Make sure that you select both sides. So now, as you can see here on my layers, it's just only one. So let me move this to the center of the page. Go there, go there. Perfect. Let me center everything there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a stroke quite thick, roughly 100 pixels. Now I'm coming here to layer and I'm going to expand the stroke. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the fill and I'm going to give it, uh, argument sake, I don't know, 50 pixels will be fine. Let me see, 49, 50, yeah, 50 is fine. And on the join, click this one for the meter or miter uh, join. So we have a straight angle there. Now I'm going to select my pen tool back again and I'm going to click on that one and click on this one to make a line in there. Remember to press escape and I'm going to do the same in the other corner. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag and select everything. Let's go to layer here at the top and let's expand the stroke. Now that we have all like that, we come here to our geometry and we click add 
So now it becomes just one thing and I'm going to uh, we leave it as it is. We don't need to do anything else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click and let's change the color of this. Uh, something like a, that red. I think it will be fine. Now I'm going to create a square, something like this. Let's take out the stroke and holding shift, click and drag on the rotation handle and give it a 45 degree angle. Let me change the color to black. So I'm coming here and I'm going to snap it there. Now this, you need to make it a little bit, you need to zoom in and make sure that you are snapping in the right position. If not, it's going to leave a gap. Let me move this one and do it like that. Perfect. And I'm going to do this one a little bit thinner, something like that. And I'm going to give it uh, opacity of let's say 50% should be fine. So now this, opa, sorry about that. Perfect. So this one is giving me that shade uh, on both sides. So seems like uh, this part is on top. Uh, this one coming from from left to to right is on top of the part coming from uh, right to right to left. So let's make this one a little bit smaller, something like that. I think it will be fine. So I'm going to click and hold Alt, release Alt, and I'm coming here back again. Just make sure that everything is aligned properly. Yeah, and it should be. And uh, maybe we can give them this one a little bit less. Yeah, I think it like a thirty percent would be fine. Just a shade. And yeah, I think it like that is perfect. So I'm going to click and drag and select everything. I'm going to group it and then I'm going to put it on the center of the page. Mm, perfect. If you want, you can change the the background and all that. Thank you very much for watching up to now. Uh, I hope you like it. And if you did, please remember to subscribe to leave the comments in the section down below. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And like always, I'm seeing you in the next video.